Hello to everyone watching this footage, it's Leviathan here again, and to start things off I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I'm high function autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee was. I severely apologize for going past the two week time limit that I've set. I severely apologize if I left you guys hanging, it's not my intention to begin with. And once I discovered that I passed the limit, I just had to make a new video for you guys. I, I'm, I severely apologize. For this particular footage, might be a little interesting. So if you bear with me, I'm going to read the storyline, and hopefully you would be able to uh, keep up and such. Just bear with me and such. Here it is. Lady Liberty, number one. The Beginning, created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 31st, 2015. To begin the story, we'll have a bit of a history lesson. In the 1800s, a French sculptor named Frederick Auguste Bartholde decided to make a statue in Ellis Island to show the friendship between the U.S. and France. It took a long while to build the statue out of pure copper, and when completed, it was taken in pieces within boats to Ellis Island. By the date of July 4th, 1886, Bartholdi established the existence of the iconic Statue of Liberty, with the island being renamed to Liberty Island. Over time, the copper of the statue changed into a light green color due to the salty air of the New York Harbor and more and more people were willing to visit her as tourists wanting to have some exotic and memorable adventures. By the present day, a group of electrical engineers decided that Liberty should do more than just stand firmly in place. After a few months, they created a pair of electrical generators that would serve as her heart and brain. In the final day of the processing, the engineers brought out a crowd as the main engineer announced. On July 4th, 1886, Frederick Augusta Bartholde created one of the greatest monuments in U.S. history along with the entire world. Now, by this day onward, we shall bring the memorable statue to life. Power up the generators! They immediately did just that. In a time of silence, Lady Liberty finally emerged into sentience as the crowd cheered for the grand accomplishment. Groaning, Liberty muttered, Man, this cramping's just unbearable. What a relief, though. From that point on, Lady Liberty was eternally marked as an official living organism. Since her official state of sentience, Liberty was helping out all American patriots with their problems that involve foreign, foreign threats and the like. Even if she finds herself in a kaiju-level showdown with massive opponents, she would still spend some of her time letting tours travel inside of her in order to keep her pedestal from losing its purpose. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the storyline and such, and uh, hope you guys enjoy this podcast as of so far and such i'll try all that i can in the long run to keep the long run to keep things symmetrical for you guys um and if you want you could like subscribe and comment down below it's your choice it's all on you and um until next time i'm leviathan hopefully you guys have a fine fourth of july and such and until next time in transmission